my great pleasure now to um, announce that Elizabeth Broderick is the recipient of our National 2016 Award for Excellence in Women's Leadership. So congratulations, Elizabeth. It's such a, uh, such a great pleasure to be here. Um, this afternoon, and such a great thrill and honour um, to win the award from Women in Leadership Australia. You really confer on me an, a, an incredible honour. And just to be here today with Lane, who's such an inspiring, talented, um, resilient, courageous uh, Australian and, and strong woman, it's wonderful to be here. Thank you so much, Lane. So the work of uh, Women in Leadership Australia, the symposiums, the awards, they're just so important in lifting the visibility of women in our nation uh, and also providing a crucial platform for women to expand their influence because when we expand our influence, that's when we create a more gender equal Australia. Being the Sex Discrimination Commissioner and really since that time as well, there is no other role like it. I mean, when I think back on those eight years, I met women and men from Launceston to Arnhem Land, from Canberra to the Kimberley. It's a role that one day you're 200 metres under the ocean in a submarine, the next you're camping out with Aboriginal women in the beautiful Kimberley in northern Australia. Uh, you Maybe you're in the slaughterhouse production lines with abattoir workers in South Australia. You're in the mountains and valleys of Oresgon province in Afghanistan. Uh, it's taken me to remote communities, to company boardrooms, to small but powerhouse community organisations, to government agencies, the parliaments, the decks of frigates, the Pentagon, NATO, the United Nations, the World Bank, the White House and everywhere in between. There are not many jobs like that, I have to say. But actually, the real privilege of a role was the people that I met and the stories. Lima Gobi, who was the Nigerian peace activist, sorry, Liberian peace activist and Nobel Peace Prize winner, she once said, there can be no legitimate conversation without the voices of women. And I think that's just so true. Uh, and as Rosie Batty, who I've done a lot of work with over the last few years, told me, and I have to say this was a very sad day as Australia's Sex Discrimination Commissioner, she said, look, prior to Luke's death, no one wanted to hear my story of living with violence. Now everybody does. And I think that speaks to the fact that when women living with violence speak, the system doesn't listen. And the reality is we all make up the system. So one of the important, most important contributions every one of us can make then is to give voice to those who have been silenced, to tell the individual stories that make the broader issue mean something than just the data. I also learned about persistence. I learned that change is a long and winding road, that to have influence, to create momentum, I have to believe in myself. And that's about finding and maintaining courage. And Lane's such a great example of that, that we have to have courage as we step forward. So what I learnt is that it is as vital for women to be powerful and influential as it is for men. And we need to teach our daughters that. Because most progress won't come in one giant leap. It comes in the form of countless small intentional steps. With men and women as equal partners, we will create the land of a genuine fair go. And to those women from every background, my sisters who have led the way and allowed us to get to where we are today, I stand in awe of what you've done and will continue to do. Because I feel so optimistic about where we are today. Australia has shifted. We've seen so many examples of that. The moment has come and we all have to step up and seize it. It's a moment when people will be defined not by their gender, but by their shared humanity. And Australia defined by the true equality that will lie at its heart. That's the Australia I'm proud to be a part of. So thank you very much for your uh, listening to me today and particularly to Karen and the Women in Leadership Australia 
for recognising me in this way. I'm humbled and I'm even more energised to go out and change the world. Thank you. Thank you.